Okay, so I've been taking some shots with the Blackmagic uh, Cinema Pocket 4K at 120 frames per second. Here are some comparisons between the various flavors of slow motion. The first one is uh, in the standard settings in DaVinci Resolve. I merely opened the retime controls and expanded by 50%. Everything else is left untouched. The next is the best example of slow motion that I've seen in a nonlinear editing program without any tweaking whatsoever. This is simply DaVinci Resolve, uh, retiming to 50% speed, and then using optical flow and speed warp. Here's a side-by-side -side using the Optical Flow Enhanced Better setting versus the Speed Warp. You can clearly see the wingtip and beak distortions. Uh, the Speed Warp uh, just doesn't show this to that degree. I chose this scene because it's a difficult one. There has to be interpolation not only between objects passing in front of other objects, but very detailed objects having to retain some semblance of that detail throughout. I also, for fun, <laughs> brought in Final Cut Pro's example of optical flow. It truly disappointed me, as I have seen far better work uh, with it, uh, with less complex objects. Overall, it was the fastest renderer of any of them, um, but when the quality looks like this, you really don't care. I also used uh, Twixter uh, to show you that it has problems mostly dealing with warping between obscuring objects. It didn't do too terribly, but for its price, uh, DaVinci Resolve with its full feature set is clearly the hands-down winner versus just a plug-in and an expensive one at that. If you like what you saw, please thumbs up and consider subscribing if you haven't. I have tons more footage of wildlife like this. I'll probably put up more just to have a relaxing interlude for people who just want to see the visuals of animals in nature. Let me know in the comments below what you'd like to see, and thank you for watching.